I'm a mechanical engineer with an MBA and have done a lot of work in uh, startup companies. I've bought companies, sold companies. We don't burn anything, so there's zero emissions. And it is available in a wide swath of the world to be used and exploited for green electricity. But it is only 0.3% of the United States electricity that's generated is from our geothermal power. And the reason is there's limited geologic sites that traditional geothermal can be deployed successfully and economically in. With Terraco's CO2 plume geothermal technology, we expand that footprint dramatically from these orange spots that are on the screen, the traditional geothermal, to about 45% of North America that could be candidates for our CO2 plume geothermal technology, and thus expanding the usage of geothermal beyond its present usage. We're seeing more and more interest in geothermal. I'd like to say we're part of that interest, and I just see people are exploring. There's a plethora of options that are being explored. Some of them aren't going to make it, but some will. And the more things we look at, um, and I think most of these are using technologies that have been pioneered or precipitated out of the gas and oil industry, because one of the biggest costs for traditional geothermal is drilling those holes. Now with me, somebody pays me to put the fuel in the ground. So I have a little different situation, which, which I consider a positive, but the traditional geothermal folks that are after going to drill at a new site and that's all they do, they either, the drilling cost is really um, uh, an issue. And tradition in traditional geothermal, the issue has been the success rate of those wells. In our case, you know, they're paying us to put the CO2 in the ground. So that's all taken care of. So I have a lot less of a risk profile in my view.